So before I begin this video, guys, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment, guys. Thank you. Let's get into it. Woo! Coming into your YouTube airwaves, I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man, and you can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so yesterday, I didn't actually play yesterday because I had to run my other business and I got extremely busy. So my top players list that I sent out to my subscribers, I told them to go light because I wasn't able to fully break the slate down. I didn't realize that so many guys that weren't supposed to play actually did play. And guys, when you're playing NBA, it is very important that you don't fully have your lineup set until around six o'clock because you need to know who's playing. Like for example, today, let's just say Jokic is a late scratch. Let's say around five o'clock, they say he caught an illness and he's not playing. And you have him in your lineup, you have to adjust. Even if you don't have him in your lineup, that means you have to get other guys in. If you see that, let's say um, Jimmy Butler doesn't play, that impacts how you pick your players. So the injury report is the most important aspect to DFS. All right, guys, let's get right into this video, and I'm going to give you the five studs from yesterday. Guys, yeah, so here's the five stud result. Maxi underperformed. Milton underperformed. Barnes did well. Eubanks did well. And Nurkic did not do so well. Just a note for Phoenix, guys. If their three scores are playing, if whenever Booker and Durant's playing, never run Nurkic. Only run Nurkic when one of those two are not in the lineup. All right, guys, so let's break down this seven game slate. But before we do this, guys, I want to send a especially great shout out to Victor Wimbenyami. He balled out yesterday. Bonchero, another young, talented phenom, balled out yesterday. I love to see greatness, guys. I love talent. That's why I like sports, because sports is people who have more desire, more heart, and more determination with natural skill than the average person. Most people will never be great at anything because they don't go out and just give it their all. Like a lot of times when we were in high school, eating pizzas and going to parties, these guys was in the gym. I remember Kevin Durant when I lived in DC, guys. Quick story, Kevin Durant's mother used to bring him his food when he used to play at the run and shoot. So he would go to high school, leave high school, go straight to the gym. He would be there so long that his mother would have to bring him his dinner. This is a true story. So guys, that's why I love sports and players because the sacrifice that they do, the average person doesn't make those sacrifices. And that's why those guys are great. And that's why I love watching sports because I'm like, man, these young men have amazing talent and God put them here to entertain us and enjoy greatness, guys. Stop picking it apart. Just enjoy it. Like, enjoy LeBron. He doesn't have many years left. So instead of criticizing every daggone thing these athletes do, just sit back sometimes and enjoy the greatness. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. So now, let's go into this lineup real quick, guys. Now, you have a lot of shooting guards and you have a lot of point guards on this lineup. You have Doncic. Now, if you believe Doncic can get you 65-70, run Doncic. But I'm not sure against Denver. And guys, for the first time, the NBA is having an in-season tournament. So I know it's going to be fun. So if they're going to be having an in-season tournament. I'm giving you Stephen Curry all day. I think this is one of those games where Stephen Curry gets 35 actual points. And I think he's going to get some assists, some steals. I think Curry's going to go crazy, guys. So I'm giving you Stephen Curry. At the center position, guys, you have so many options. Now, I trust Doncic to get 65 points today. My apologies, guys. I trust Jokic to get 65 fantasy points more than I trust Doncic. I trust Doncic to get me 55. I believe Doncic, Doncic can get 55, and I believe Jokic can get 65. But I'm not going to waste a lot of you guys' time, guys. The guy I'm going to give you guys is Miles Turner. I think this is going to be one of those games where he gets some block shots. I think he's going to get a bunch of rebounds because he's playing Cleveland. And if you take out Donovan Mitchell, and even if you include Donovan Mitchell, this team shoots a lot of jump shots. And if you come to the rim, Turner's going to block your shot. So I believe he's going to get a lot of rebounds because I think that, that Cleveland is going to miss a lot of shots. Okay, guys, so now to get the other point guard, if this is going to be a televised game, 
you can't fade Jamal Murray. I did a video a few years ago that I when I told people Jamal Murray is one of the best point guards in the league, and I caught a lot of flack. Am I catching flack now, guys? Isn't he one of the best point guards in the league? So I'm a big fan of Jamal Murray. Now, I love Draymond Green today. Draymond Green has some of his better games against his OKC team. In OKC, they don't have Shea Gildress Alexander. And I know people are like, well, Statman, they're going to get blown out. I don't believe so. This team is scrappy. They're going to fight, guys. They they have they have about seven to eight guys that they can throw at you. They got a, a balance of defense. They got guys that can score. And Golden State Warriors are not as defensively sound as they once were. So I think this game stays close. Next, at the shooting guard position, guys, I like to attack the Washington Wizards. So I'm giving you Tyler Hero because just like I told you guys and – maybe two, three videos ago when Washington played the Celtics. How I told you, Tatum doesn't get up for teams that don't have marquee names on it. If Tatum plays Philly, yeah, he's going to get up. If he plays Golden State, he's going to get up for those games. But Hero's going to get up for this game. All right, guys. So now at the small forward position, guys, I'm going to give you Porter. I think Porter's going to have a phenomenal game. And then at the power forward position, I'm going to give you his running mate, Gordon. I think Gordon has a phenomenal game as well. Now, at the last shooting guard spot, guys, I like Gary Payton. Gary Payton has one of the best stories in the NBA, guys. He fought his way onto an NBA team, and he kept getting cut. Wouldn't nobody give him a chance. Then Golden State said, hey, man, come over here, man. Your father was a great player. We want to see what you have. And Payton said, man, I'm, I'm the glove 2.0. And this guy plays defense. He shoots the ball well. But if you get a chance to watch the game tonight, watch the energy of the Golden State Warriors when he comes into the game, guys. He is he I'm I'm just I'm just happy to see anybody who just pushes, 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 and, and keeps saying, man, I'm good enough, and finally shows that he is good enough. So he deserves every opportunity that is coming his way. Now, for the boomstick play of the night. It's none other than Andrew Wiggins. Guys, I believe tonight is going to be the night that you're going to see Andrew Wiggins attack the basket. I believe you're going to see Andrew Wiggins get rebounds. I believe his shot's going to be on. I believe he's going to get some blocks and some steals. I think Andrew Wiggins is going to get 30-plus fantasy points, and I would not be shocked if he puts up 40 fantasy points. So Andrew Wiggins is the boomstick play of the night. So guys, that's it. You got Turner, Gordon, Green, Wiggins, Porter, Peyton, Hero, Mary, and Carrie. Mary and Carrie sounds like a song, doesn't it? All right, guys, so that's it, guys. So guys, I'm going to break down the rest of the slate. So guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Good hunting on your DFS contest. Love you guys. If you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also leave a comment. Thank you guys again. Love you guys.